quick return mechanism is an apparatus to produce a reciprocating motion in which the time taken for travel in one direction is less than in the other. It is driven by a circular motion source and uses a system of links and sliding joints. Quick return is a common feature of tools in which the action is performed in only one direction of the stroke, such as shapers and powered saws, because it allow less time to be spent on returning the tool to its initial position. The Scotch yoke mechanism is a mechanical device that converts rotary motion into linear motion, or vice versa. It consists of a slotted yoke and a pin-mounted disc. As the disc rotates, the pin slides within the yoke slot, producing a linear movement. It's also known as a slotted link mechanism. The system is reversible. The mechanism can be used to operate on an elliptical path. This mechanism is commonly used in engines, pumps, and valve actuators due to its simplicity and effectiveness. A rack and pinion is a type of linear actuator that comprises a circular gear engaging a linear gear. Together, they convert between rotational motion and linear motion. Rotating the pinion causes the rack to be driven in a line. Conversely, moving the rack linearly will cause the pinion to rotate. Rack and pinions are one of the oldest and simplest mechanisms used for converting rotary motion into linear motion. They are extremely versatile and can be used in a wide range of applications, from simple, hand-operated machinery to highly dynamic, ultra-precise machine tool applications. A cam and follower mechanism is a mechanical device that changes rotary motion into linear motion. The cam is a rotating disc or cylinder with an irregular shape. The follower is a lever or other object that slides or rolls along the cam surface. As the cam rotates, the follower rises and falls in a process called reciprocating motion. Cam and follower mechanisms are used in many applications, including engines, pumps, and automation systems. A Geneva mechanism is a gear mechanism that converts a continuous rotation into an intermittent rotary motion. It's also known as a Geneva drive or Maltese cross. Let's understand how it works. A pin on the rotating drive wheel slides into a slot in the driven wheel. The pin advances the driven wheel by one step. The drive wheel's continuous motion pulls the pin out of the slot. The driven wheel stops rotating. The pin slides into the next slot in the driven wheel, repeating the cycle. The Geneva mechanism was originally used in mechanical watches to limit the tension of the watch spring. It's also used to rotate a shaft to a specific degree. Thank you so much for your support.